Are you ready? Ah, uh, yes, I've had my soothing tea, I have my water, my script. Uh, oh. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Hello out there from Shadfly Lake. This is my first blog. <clears throat> blog. I'm Cynthia Gochinski. You may recognize my name from articles I've written in Healthy Life magazine. I'm just talking off the top of my head here. <laughs> Good news first. Turtlenecks, aka nurtlenecks by my tween daughters, are trending for fall and winter. Yes, the young people are wearing turtlenecks under ironic graphic tees. <laughs> Isn't that tremendous? No more urging them to cover up their necks in cold weather. As a parent, I couldn't be happier. Speaking of covering up, I was inspired to write this vlog for all the other concerned parents out there. Sunscreen is my main concern these days. I know, I know, winter is coming, but the sun is still a concern. Those dangerous UV rays still shine through on cold, cloudy days. We need to protect ourselves and our children from the sun. So, as a responsible parent and an aging woman, I decided to do more research into sunscreens. I want to make sure I'm choosing the best sunscreen for my family and me. Well, the Environmental Working Group has an entire listing of safe sunscreens. It's a long list. In general, we need to avoid all kinds of chemicals. I realized quickly that most of these sunscreens aren't available in the ordinary drugstore. Health food stores are a better bet for finding them. Naturally, I went to Old Country Ways on Main Street. That's where I got my pink salt lamp and where I buy my herbal teas and essential oils. Well, Roger showed me the one tube of $25 sunscreen. <gasps> It's called Badger Buckskin, and yes, I paid the $25. Such a small tube of sunscreen, though. Mm. Roger actually told me not to wear sunscreen if I was going fishing, because the fish can smell the sunscreen and it scares them off. Fishermen don't wear sunscreen. Well, I'm not going fishing, thank you very much. <laughs> So, I applied the necessary two coats of expensive sunscreen to my face. Not so easy, let me tell you. It was so greasy. The first coat never did sink in. But I continued with my product research. I went for a walk on the trails in the woods behind my house. Well, when I got home, my face was covered with bugs and dandelion fluff and all kinds of pollen. I had to use a spatula to scrape off the sunscreen, and then I had to wash the rest of it off with pumice soap. I'm not saying you shouldn't invest in the best sunscreen, but I advise you to do your research and find the best one for you. Don't just go with the sunscreen your local store has to offer. If it's that Badger Buckskin brand, Beware. I'd rather wear bandages all over my face than wear that sunscreen again. But I intend to continue my research. I'm worth it and my kids are worth it. For now, <clears throat> I'm wearing my broad rimmed hat, my scarf to protect my neck, and my sunglasses. Yes, and just a few dabs of zinc on my nose, my cheeks, and my lips. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. Zinc comes in pink and all kinds of colors too. <laughs> it comes in clear too, you know. Oh, no, I didn't know. <laughs> Now, it may not provide full coverage. I haven't tried that yet. Hmm. But you can find it in your local drugstore, even in a small town. And remember, no matter what kind of skin you've got, no matter what color, you should always wear sunscreen. Ah, yes, there you go. 
We need to protect our children, other people's children, <sighs> all children really, and people of the world from the dangers of the sun. There, now we can enjoy the sunshine. That's the end of the vlog. <laughs> that was fun. To a long and healthy life, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Namaste. Cut.